This episode of In the Kitchen with Karen was filmed before a live studio audience. Hi everyone and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Karen. So we made it to September. Woohoo! Now it's not officially fall yet, but I thought I would kind of get us all in the mood with a yummy dessert that's one of my favorite cakes. And it's called a uh, caramel apple bundt cake. It's really easy to make. It doesn't have too many ingredients. Um, it mixes up real fast. And then after it's done, uh, the best part is we are gonna make a homemade caramel frosting that we're gonna drizzle over the top and add a few pecans on top. And it's going to be amazing. So I hope you'll stay with me so you can get the recipe. Let's get started. So our first step is to get a bunt pan. I have a really good non-stick bunt pan, but I still like to spray mine with some non-stick cooking spray. In a large bowl, we are gonna add one cup of softened salted butter. We are gonna add two cups of light brown sugar. Then we're going to take our mixer and beat it for one to two minutes or until it's light and fluffy. We're going to add two large eggs. I like to make sure my eggs are room temperature before I add them. We're going to give it another mix for another 30 seconds. Make sure you scrape down your bowl after this step. We are going to add two cups of unsweetened applesauce. And all together we are going to need two and three quarters cups of flour. But right now I'm just going to add one cup of the flour. Now we are going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now, nutmeg is one of those strong spices, so you don't want to use too much of it. It smells like Thanksgiving in here. <laughs> My next ingredient, we're going to be using a half a teaspoon of maple extract. If you don't have any maple extract or uh, you don't want to buy it just for this cake, uh, you can definitely use vanilla extract. It's just not going to give uh, quite the same caramel flavor to it. We are going to mix this together for one minute. We're going to slowly incorporate the rest of our flour. And now we're just going to scrape down our bowl one more time because we don't want any flour on the sides not to get mixed in. We're just going to beat it for another 10 seconds. And now we're going to put our cake batter in our bundt pan. Okay, I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. We are going to bake this for 40 to 45 minutes or until a knife inserted comes out clean. We're going to make our caramel frosting. It's super simple. In a small saucepan, we are just going to melt one stick of salted butter. And to that, we're going to add one cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar. I like to use the dark as opposed to the light brown sugar because it gives a more caramely taste to our frosting. We are going to let this boil for three minutes. 
Now you might be tempted to lick the spoon, but don't do it because you will have the worst burnt tongue ever. This stuff's like molten lava. As you can see, it's starting to get nice and thick. To this, we are gonna add two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Now when you add the cream, it's gonna really bubble up, so be careful. We're gonna cook this for one more minute. And as you can see, it's starting to look like a caramel sauce now. Now that we're finished boiling our sugar and butter, we are going to let this cool until it's barely warm. Okay, so now I'm gonna say a little prayer that this thing is not stuck to the pan. <gasps> Ta-da! So what I like to do is take a, ma a large mason jar and put in a piping bag. That way the piping bag stays open when I'm putting my frosting in there. But if you don't have a piping bag, you can just use a quart size Ziploc bag. Then after I put it in there, I cut off the end. I am just going to pipe it on here. I don't know if you guys have these where you live, but where we live, we have something called nothing bunt cakes. And all they do is make bunt cakes. And this is how they decorate it. They just take a thick row of icing like this. You don't have to get it in every single spot. Then I like to, just for decoration, put some pecan halves over the top. And then, as a final extra touch, I like to sprinkle just a little bit of powdered sugar on the top. And there you have it, our caramel apple bundt cake. Okay, let's slice a piece and see how it is. And just to make it a little extra special, I like to serve it with some ice cream. And today I am using bourbon maple pecan ice cream. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna make sure I get a little of the frosting. You guys, this frosting is amazing. Even Chris was like, oh my gosh, I could just like eat this with a spoon. It is seriously the, mo the most moist cake you will ever eat. And it's got just the right amount of cinnamon and you can taste the nutmeg a little bit. And you can definitely taste the apple flavor from the applesauce. And when you eat it with ice cream, it's even better. So I really hope you guys are going to try this. I look forward to hearing what you think and I will see you on the next episode.